What's up, guys? It's Matt from Merck Patriot News. Right next to me is Romeo. And today we have some uh, breaking news. A judge ruled in Georgia, motor machine case must go to trial. Awesome. Let's take a look at this article. Breaking. Judge rules Georgia voting machine case must go to trial. U.S. District Judge Amy Tattenberg has ruled that a lawsuit against Georgia's use of electronic voting machines must go to a non-jury trial in January. According to 11 News, 11 Alive News, the federal judge's ruling will require Georgia's Secretary of State to defend the state's utilization of electronic voting prior to the upcoming presidential primary election in the state. The lawsuit questions whether Georgia's current system of computerized voting is safe or whether it is vulnerable vul or whether it is vulnerable to potential hacking incidents. According to the Associated Press, Tottenberg's recent 135-page ruling stems from a lawsuit that was originally filed by activists in Georgia who want the state to use paper ballots instead of electronic voting machines. A lawsuit was filed in 2017 against touchscreen voting machines used by the state for 15 years, later modifying to challenge the state's 2019 election system, claiming it was vulnerable. The state requested a judge's ruling against the lawsuit, but federal judge Tottenberg ruled that there were material facts in dispute that all required a trial. A bench trial is scheduled for January 9th, and both parties are encouraged to work together to resolve the matter. The court cannot wave a magic wand in this case to address the very challenges our democracy and election system in recent years, including those presented in this case. But reasonable, timely discussion and compromise in this case, coupled with prompt, informed legislative action, might certainly make a difference that benefits the parties and the public. Critics of Georgia's electronic voting machines have accused a security breach in Coffee County where unauthorized individuals allegedly scanned and copied secure voting software, distributing some of the information online. The breach poses a substantial risk that votes will not be counted as cast. Critics argue that such incidents can result in invalid markings on electronic voting machines. In a ruling required Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger's office to participate in a civil trial, Tottenberg stated that defendants fail to identify a single cybersecurity expert who endorses the current configuration of Georgia's ballot marking device system. The court does not have legal authority to fulfill the plaintiff's broadest relief request. Even if the plaintiffs prevail on their substantive claims, the court cannot order the Georgia legislature to pass legislation creating a paper ballot voting system or judicially impose a statewide paper ballot system as injunctive relief in this case. Totenberg suggested that if the plaintiffs win the January trial, they could be ordered by the court or agreed upon by both parties. Well, I'm hoping... Uh... In Georgia, they get rid of these machines. I think uh, this court case going to trial is a good idea. Unfortunately, it's not going to be a jury trial. It's going to be decided by a judge. Now, I don't know how a jury trial would work because the, what's on trial is actually a machine, not a person. So, <laughs> Right. Well, what matters here, what the court is saying is we can't give you your relief. We can't give you what you want if you win, which is to order that there's no more voting machines and there's only paper ballots used. And that's the problem with this whole thing as I see it. We, we don't want voting machines that can be hacked and used in mass cheating. I'm talking like nationwide cheating scenarios potentially. What we want are paper ballots and more control on the local level. And it doesn't sound like even if they win this case, the, the, judge, could, the judge said, I can't order the relief you want. He can only order the relief in certain in the area that he's in. He can't order it throughout the whole state, I guess. Right. I'm, I'm not, I, I, 
you know, when it comes to this, though, I think it's important to actually win it because then you have precedents. Once you have precedents, that's when you can use it in other courts to actually try to win the case against the machines. So there is a, a reason why you want to win this. Yeah, I'm hearing what you're saying. I think I think you're right, too. Like, you want to establish some wins in this area, and then a future case might allow you. But ultimately, no, you know, even if it got to the, the Supreme Court in the state, Georgia's Supreme Court, I, I don't think that they would even order the state to do voting by hand. Um, what what you need is the legislature in Georgia to pick up this issue and decide it for good. Yeah. Unfortunately, when it comes to elections, uh, a lot of people think there's quick fixes. There is no quick fix. There's only a uh, there's a, the only way you're going to be able to do it is do it the way the Democrats uh, how they created the cheating, and that means you got to work from the bottom up. That means you got to win. You got to win. You got to win races. You got to put in people that you know will do right, uh, what's best for the country, and uh, start implementing, uh, you know, just laws for elections such as voter ID, so on and so forth. If you can't do that, guess what? You're going to keep on having situations that you have all throughout the country where you have fraud. Well, uh, like right now, you're going to keep on having what you have right now. I totally agree with you. We have to have good people who will do the right thing elected. If we don't get that, we will lose all of these battles. Yeah. yeah. And you got to start from the bottom up. You know, you guys, uh, the thing is, you got to go with the same uh, blueprint as the Democrats used to actually cr uh, create what they created now. Uh, they started from the bottom up. It, it took them uh, 50 years to get to a, the point where they're doing this kind of thing. You know, I'm not saying it's going to take us that long because I don't think we're that far along in it. But I think we need to actually uh, start winning, uh, you know, AGs. In the states, also, uh, you know, attorney generals, also secretary of states uh, in, in, uh, in other states as well. Uh, if you keep allowing Democrats windows and all you're doing is worried about the governorship because the governorship, all he does is sign bills. He does not decide law in that state. Right. The AGs and secretary of states, they decide laws when it comes to election laws in those states. And then you have also the legislature in the state, which is really important. That needs to go to uh, Republicans need to win that if they want to change election laws. Hey, put it this way. If there's an election every two years, um, I would make the argument that if we get on top of things right now, within, at worst case scenario, five cycles, so 10 years, we can fix this problem. And we can have the right people in the right positions to make just election laws. And if we don't fix this, everything else will be broken. Now, now, first thing we got to remember also is each state is further along on this process than other states. Like you have California, New York, they're, they're a lost cause. In my opinion. Right. It's over. But, the Democrats yeah. have taken over for a long time. Yeah. And no but, Republican can win. Like uh, if you look at Kentucky or West Virginia, they're not very far along. So you can fix the issue pretty quickly. Uh, you have Georgia. They're not very far along either. They're further along than uh, Kentucky and Virginia is, but they could actually be fixed fairly quickly as well. It wouldn't take, it wouldn't take a decade. It would take maybe a couple election cycles and you could get it fixed. The point is, there's a way you can fix this stuff in order to make it where it's actually uh, equitable and, and evenly, uh, ca uh, evenly a chance of winning for Democrats and Republicans and make sure that uh, the state is not stolen from one party or another. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't agree more. Yeah, if we want to fix the problems, we had better um, get busy doing it. And you're right, some of these states, uh, we're not that far from there. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. We really appreciate it. Please hit the like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. Please also turn the notifications bell on so you'll know when we make new content. Uh, we're live Monday at 9.30 Central Standard. Please join us and have a wonderful rest of your day.